So in the last video, we made this uh, dress block. And this block is what we're going to use as a foundation to create other designs from. So this will be the basis that we kind of come to when it's anything concerning like a woman's dress, a skirt or a top. Um, for pants, we would use something different. But for the dress, this is going to give us the basis for a lot of things. And we have a number of darts within this block to fit this around the body to give us this basic shape. Um, there's two in the front of the skirt, two in the back, and then there's three in this front, um, the front part of this bodice. Um, this one I added in the, to, into the armhole to fit this better around the bust. And in theory, we don't need all three of these darts. We can manipulate these into either one dart or we can move them around into different seams. Um, and that's how we're going to be able to translate our design into a, um, into a base pattern. So to quickly explain um, dart manipulation, if I look at this um, this image right here, this is of the front bodice pattern. So this is the front neckline, the armhole, and the different positions that we can put these darts into. And right now we have one going through the mid shoulder, we have one coming through to the waist, and we have one going into the mid armhole. And they all come into this central point right in the middle here. And we can open these darts out in different positions depending on the style of the garment that we want to create. But we can go a lot further than just moving the darts into different positions. Um, what we can eventually do is something a bit more creative and move them into seams or um, one seam or multiple seams um, as style lines as part of the design that you want to create. So this will focus on the, the upper part of the dress blocks or the bodice and how we can manipulate those darts into either one seam, two seams, or multiple uh, combinations of darts and seams. Um, I think this is quite good to know. Um, also for physical pattern making, the techniques you can translate into um, physical pattern cutting as well, because that's the basis that I took to create this digitally. Um, so let's start by um, looking at how we can take this dart out of the armhole and out the neck and move everything into, into one position so this might be easier to work with. So right now this dart goes into the shoulder point here and it would be better if it came through um, the mid of the, the armhole. So we want one dart to come through here so we can mark this point in, this line. We're going to open a new one here and we're going to take this one and this one away and leave this one where it is. But we need to bring everything into um, into one point. So to do that, I'm just going to draw an internal line between the top dart and the bottom dart. And use the cut and so to just cut these um, this front bodice into actually into two pieces. And I'm just going to bring down these points right into the middle here. Like this. And I think we can even delete these ones. Right. And then we want to open this point here out as well so that we actually split this into three separate pattern pieces that we can then move the darts around and then stick them back together again, basically. So I'm going to just draw from the tip of this bust dart into the, the point again and just cut and sew this. And again, we can just delete these additional points. And this dart is now kind of going through the from the armhole right here. Um, we want to open it up at this point in this position so that our dart kind of goes from the shoulder all the way down to the, the waist. Um, so this is would be the, the point where we can create this um, manipulation. So we're going to cut this pattern piece here. So we'll do again cut and sew on this internal line. And then we want to take these two pieces and merge them. So right click and choose the merge option. And they will join back together. And then this one to the, the second panel. And we can merge these back together. And now we have um, two pattern pieces. Um, and if we simulate this, we maintain the fit even through now that this dart is gone we have the the baseline of where this dart used to be and we still have the correct fit here and we've taken this out of the neckline and we've moved this all the way down to the front so now we kind of have two darts creating a seam so rather than the three darts we had before we've got um one connection going down the middle 
we could then join, for example, this piece and this piece. We could merge this together. And now all of that shaping is being pushed into this waste that. So again, if we simulate this, the shape is the same. It's correct. It's just now all being pushed down into this scene here. Or if I just undo this quickly, we could do it the other way and we could close the waste that. So if I click both of these and merge them, um, everything is now going into this shoulder dart right here. Um, for now, we can just leave this as it was and see how um, we can design something with this. So as a first simple example of something we could do, it could be this study right here where we have all the shaping through one seam into the armhole and then all the shaping on this side of the bodice asymmetrically across from the neck hole down to the waist. So this is a, an asymmetric design. Um, this, I guess, is a symmetrical example where there's a seam running down the front in this shape. But the point is, the point quite literally, is to always pass through the point of each of the darts. So where we have a dart point, um, we always need to pass our seam through that point. So you see even here in this example, the, the point of this dart here and the point of this one, the style line that is being drawn between them is always passing through that um, that point right there. So we need to be sure that we're doing the same thing. It's also visible here. You see these are the tops of the darts, this one coming through the armhole, and these seams are passing always through the, the dart, the, the bust point. So with that in mind, um, we're going to create something asymmetrical. So we want to um, not work with the symmetrical editing in this case. So these pieces now are symmetric uh, using the symmetrical editing, editing tool right here. So we can turn this off if we just select all four pieces and click remove link editing. So now these will be independent so we can make something more asymmetric with this. And the first line that we want to create is where we come into the waist. So I'm going to go from the bus point here, just over here into the waist. So this will be the, the front of the first seam on the left side. And then here we're going to come up into the front armhole. And then we can make a smooth curve around this, um, like this one right here. We can make this a nice smooth shape. And then we're going to do this one on this side. So we're going to start from the center front neck and go to this bus point here. And then this one is coming down to the front again to a similar point here. So I'm just going to go on the same pattern piece, the center front piece, and just draw a line in the middle. And then again, we can start to um, make this curve a lot smoother. Um, for now, I'm going to delete all these baselines because these purple lines are actually like getting in the way of what I'm trying to look at. So I'm just going to right click here and click delete all baselines and those purple ones have now gone. So this front one, we want to curve it up a little bit. So I'm going to press C on the keyboard to curve this up. And then this one, we want to curve down. So I'm just going to press C and curve this down a little bit as well. Um, we might even want to do something a little bit different. So you're going to select this line and delete it and just come a little bit around here. Maybe down to about this point and then like this. So instead of coming from the point of the seam straight to the front, we're going to come across onto the other piece and then um, make a more of a, a rounder edge this way. So I'm going to press C on the keyboard again to curve this side out and see how far these are off. So just raise this point here to try and meet these in the middle. And then we can curve this off a little bit as well. Maybe this comes down so that we get a nice smooth point here. Right, so now we're kind of making this nice uh, smooth circular shape going across this dart here. And this one we just want to lift out a little bit, so I'm going to press C on the keyboard to make this a little rounder towards the front. And then curve this one up a little bit as well on this side here, so we get a nice smooth curve in the front. 
and this is these two seams are going to be where all the shaping goes into our front uh, bodies right now so let's cut through these points and then put this pattern back together to to take out the darts and the seams that we don't need so i'll start with this one i'm going to click cut and sew and the same here cut and sew and we want to close up the shoulder dart so this seam wants to connect to this one, so we're going to right click and merge. This one to here, right click and merge. And we can see we have this kind of little wobble in the seam here, so I'm going to lift this back a little bit and just try to smooth this out. Same in the front here. So that we get more of a smooth connect and not like a jump in the seam. And then we're going to cut through this line here, cut and sew, this one here, and this one here. And then we're going to close this dart right here, this one over to this side, and this one in the top here. So the top piece to this piece and merge. And again, we've got a bit of like a kick happening here that we may, might want to smooth out a little bit. And then we are going to close out this front center front seam. So now we have a seam running right down the center front of this. And I'm just going to join these together and merge them. And again, I think I can turn off just the visibility of the base lines. Yeah, here. And let's simulate this and see how it looks. Great. So now if I look in the schematic view, yeah. We have a nice uh, two seams that tip took all of the darts away from the, the front of this bodice. So um, this is looking, you know, the fit's still there. It fits nicely around the armhole under the arm here. It fits nicely across the chest and the, the neckline isn't distorted in any way. And um, we've managed to put a nice shape going through this, you know, in a similar way to, to this design right here. Um, in the next videos I'm going to make, I'm going to go a bit more in depth into this process and how we can use this dart manipulation to make um, some much more complex designs like this one, this one right here.